Hi, my name is John Krause. I'm with Tinney Solson Testing Machine Company. Here I have a 300 SL, standard height, rack and pinion grips. Some of the applications of the SL line are tension, compression, flexure, peel, as well as you can do some uh, product testing. If you have uh, your own components that you want to pull, we have different stud type availables that you can connect to or grip type available that you can attach your samples to the product that you're trying to pull apart and test or compress. This SL meets the ASTM ISO. This particular model has a calibration range of 120 pounds to 60,000. It is a 300 kilonewton capacity machine and we have complete service and calibration uh, across the globe. Some of the features of this SL machine, it has a um, hydraulic piston, which is different from most uh, competitors piston. There's no seals, there's no O-rings or gaskets, therefore nothing to really leak and go wrong. One of the industry leading standard machines is the SL line. It's proven track record of years of dependable service day in, day out with worry-free operation. It's easy to use and operators tend to get attached to their machine over the years. With the piston design on this machine, it is a virtual friction-free piston, meaning that the whole piston uh, has a oil coating, which means no wear. We read that, that oil pressure around that piston very accurately and very repeatedly. That piston is our weighing system. There is no load cell on this system, which means if the competitor's machine had a load cell that is underneath the table mounted, you have to tear it apart to get to it. We have a cover on the back of the machine with a pressure transducer that's about that big, and that's what reads the oil. It typically can never get overloaded or give you any issues for years and years of dependable service. The SL line uh, is a low pressure system, so it, it never really gets hot. In a lab environment, it will remain typically around 90 to 110 degrees, which is not very warm at all. It will perform for years and years without having to change the oil. It's a uh, heavy duty oil that is in the uh, system. And you know, I've had customers have it 20, 30 years without having to change the oil because it doesn't get hot, it doesn't break down. During the test, I will be clipping on the Exensometer and you'll notice uh, one of the things I do once the grips bite into the sample, I will remove the handles. The reason I do this is because when you have a violent break, that pinion shaft, which is connected to the grips, which has a handle on it, that weight will restrict the pinion shaft from spinning and cause possibly the teeth to wear prematurely. So I remove the handles so the pinion shaft is free to spin with no weight on it. I'm going to run a test with a flat specimen using the rack and pinion grips. You wanna make sure that your sample is straight up and down, centered in the grips. Good practice. I'm now gonna put the clip-on exensometer on. Make sure that it's centered top to bottom and in the center of the specimen if possible. And then I will pull the pin, the zero pin, to get ready to start the test. I can zero the instrument from the pro term or I can zero it from the software. With the test already preloaded, I will now start the test to break the sample. So now the sample is loading up. You will notice I did not need to grab the handles. With the proper amount of grease on the grips, you should not ever have to hang on the, the grips to get it to bite. So I am at 3,000 pounds now. I am going to remove the handles. I am almost at 10,000 pounds. The material is now yielding and I will wait for the message for the 
Remove instrument. It's okay to have the instrument laying there with Horizon software. While this is, test is going on, I can get the next test ready to go to get my productivity levels up so I can get the product tested and out the door in a timely manner. The material now is necking down, so it is getting ready to break. You can see right here, it's starting to neck down. That's where the break will occur. Materials now broken. I can put my handles on, remove the instrument, then return the crosshead. Because of the Horizon software, the machine is now ready to run another test.